Last year, I asked Furniture Went Mad to shoot some footage of Andy Scott's The Kelpies, positioned between Junction 5 and 6 at the M9 near Falkirk. The Kelpie's position on a hill near a motorway apes Yame Plenz's The Dream position, which is also on a hill near a motorway. The M62 near St Helens in The Dream's case. It also parallels The Dream in that Falkirk, like St Helens, is an ugly town best avoided. Furniture Went Mad resisted the temptation to call me an idiot and instead gently pointed out that the Kelpies were still under construction, but he would gladly shoot some video when it was completed, but with prejudice. At some point I'll take a camera down and get a wee bit of footage, but I have to tell you I absolutely loathe these structures. A grand waste of cash in my view. Reasons Scott appears to be securing all the public sculpture cash around central Scotland, making his work look tired and unimaginative. Kelpies. Why Kelpies? Kelpies have no connection to the area. They were mythical sea creatures which took children from their beds and killed them by drowning. Scott clearly didn't know what a Kelpie is when he chose this name. He appears from interviews and on his sight to think a Kelpie is simply a type of horse. Yeah, I've been told the steel utilised in this project was five or six times more expensive per weight than that used in other such Scott sculptures. Again, why? The project ran out of cash prior to completion. A lift and stairs to the viewing platform were part of an original plan, as examples. They're too close to the motorway. I'll give it six months before the first fatality blamed on their position. And really they don't look very good. This, the wee bit film I take, will be without comment. Just so you know how I feel about the whole scheme. If you can't be bothered to click on the link in this video's description, here's how the official website describes the work. The Kelpies Tower, a colossal 30 metres above the 4th and Clyde Canal, and form a dramatic gateway to the canal entrance on the east coast of Scotland. Sculpted by Andy Scott, the Kelpies are a monument to horse-powered heritage across central Scotland. One hopes those central Scotland horses weren't child killers like Kelpies. A better comparison to child killing Kelpies would be politicians. Some months later, Scotland's most generous musician, that's furniture went mad by the way, sent this footage of the almost completed sculpture, in which his camera work has improved greatly. I wonder if he wants an unpaid job on erased culture.
Tarquin has asked me to end this video by saying, listen to the bonus track in this video's description as he chose it.